everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now today we have here a very interesting smartwatch. This time around is actually from Huawei, it's called a Huawei Watch Fit 3. And I've actually been reviewing quite a fair bit of smartwatches in the past and I think this is actually going to be a very strong hit because the price of it is coming in at a very affordable price point. I can't review the price right now because embargo but you know it's going to be like sub 700 ringgit ish. Anyways, for the kind of price point, you're actually getting a very solid and decent smartwatch. Not only does it come with a ton of features that you see, you know, primarily on more expensive smartwatches, but one key highlight that I wanted to point out here is that the user experience, the UI itself, the watch just feels very, very smooth and very polished. And I think this is something that a lot of you are going to appreciate. So yeah, let's just jump into today's video and check out what the Huawei Watch Fit 3 is all about. Now, first things first, we've got to talk a bit about the unboxing process. There's nothing much to unbox here, really. You just pop the lid and what you get in the box is actually this you know, charging cable. You also get uh, the watch itself, obviously. And depending on the kind of colorway that you go for, the kind of material for the straps might differ. So I have here two different kinds of colorways. We have this pretty interesting one in like light green, mint green. It comes in these uh, rubber kind of straps. I also have this uh, version in white and it's sort of like a nylon strap. So again, depending on the color of the watch, you will actually end up with a different kind of like built materials for the watch itself. Now with the unboxing out of the way, let's jump in and talk a bit more about the design because again, when I first lifted this watch out from the box, and the first thing that came to my mind is like, wow, this thing is very well built. Now, if you just touch the silicone, you know, like straps around here, you feel that it's very smooth. It feels expensive. It doesn't feel like those uh, 15 ringgit kind of strap that you can buy on Shopee. It feels expensive. The entire case itself, the watch itself gives it a bit of a weight as well. So it just gives you the kind of feeling that this is a more expensive device. Now, if you just look a bit closer to the watch itself, you notice that we do have uh, two physical buttons. So the first one is sort of like a crown, which you also see on other Huawei watches. There's also another shortcut key at the bottom, which is at the bottom here. And you can actually just press that to activate any kind of shortcut that you would like to set. So mine is currently set to uh, the sport mode. So yeah, we'll talk a bit more about that later. Anyways, another good point, a very strong point about this device, which I did mention earlier on in the video, is all about the display. Now the size of this is actually a 1.82 inch. Uh, it's an AMOLED display. That means that the contrast levels are fantastic. You know what? This watch even goes up to 1,500 nits of maximum brightness. So again, if you are exercising outdoors, you will not have any difficulties you know, like just looking at the display. Now, one more cool thing here is that it's a 60 hertz refresh rate display. That means that just gliding over the display itself, everything is actually very, very smooth. Now, sometimes when you take a look at other smartwatches from other brands in this kind of uh, pricing space, you will notice that the UI is just laggy. You know, there's not enough like processing power and all that. So you won't find that here on the Huawei Watch Fit 3. Everything just runs very smoothly, launching the applications and going through the menus. Everything just works and flies like butter. <laughs> all right. So another cool thing that I wanted to highlight here very quickly, just in terms of the UI, there's a lot of updates to the UI itself on the watch itself. You can just, uh, you know, just tweak the kind of cards that you have, the shortcuts directly on the watch. A lot of other smartwatches require you to do those processes in the phone itself, but you can do a lot of stuff on the watch here without actually using the app on the phone. So yeah, pretty good stuff there in terms of the design, the way the UI is made and the entire display there. All right, now let's jump into a bit more of the important stuff, the tracking stuff. So the tracking is going to be separated into the activity tracking as well as the health tracking. Now for the activity tracking, you know, naturally it comes with uh, multiple different kinds of workout modes. We have more than a hundred different workout modes uh, on here. But what's cool about this guy here is obviously it also comes with GPS built in. And there's actually one really cool feature that I just tried out earlier on in the park. So I noticed that we have that route navigation. So we can actually put a starting point and let's say you go for a run. Let's say you go to a jungle and do some trekking. If you happen to lose your way, you can always go and check on the watch itself to actually map your way back. And it actually gives you some navigation to point you to how you can get back to your point A, which is where you started your journey. Very, very cool and it's actually very accurate. So yeah, I'm quite pleased about that. Now, one new standout feature that Huawei is really pushing in here is actually called the calorie management. So how this works is basically, you know, the watch itself is supposed to guide you as to, you know, how much you should eat or like how much exercises you should put in. So what you need to do is actually put in the kind of meals you have on a daily basis. You put in your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner. Uh, there's all sorts of food. So pretty much everything that you can think of like McDonald's, uh, fried rice, you know, like char kway teow, nasi lemak, you know, our Malaysian food. They're all already built into the app and you can actually very easily just put that in so you can calculate the kind of amount of calories that you need. You know, whenever the watch feels that you are at a deficit, it will give you some advices. And whenever it feels that you have eaten too much, 
it will actually come up with some plans to you know prompt you to go and exercise all right so now let's move on and talk a bit about the health tracking side of things now just with any other smartwatch we have the typical you know all day heart rate tracking we have your spo tools you have your stress your sleeps your nets and all that but you know one critical item that huawei is really focusing on with the huawei watch fit 3 is actually the sleep breathing awareness so whenever you're sleeping and you're wearing the watch itself it actually gives you a score of whether your sleep breathing is actually normal abnormal or you know or whatnot and this is actually quite important because if you have a breathing issue it might actually be due to some other underlying health issues and this will actually give you a prompt to maybe go and check your doctor and find out like if anything is wrong with you all right so that's in terms of the health tracking now last but not least i think the battery life is also something that is worth mentioning for this particular model you can get up to 10 days of battery life it charges up fairly quickly as well now i actually got the watch to die one day like totally out of juice and it took like 60 minutes to charge up the watch from zero to 100 percent so one hour to charge the entire thing or you could just do a five minute quick charge and get it up to like i think 10 percent but yeah basically the charging on here is actually very fast and the battery life is good enough for many days of use before we go just a final few more points that you should know about uh, the watch itself can be used as a bluetooth mic so say for example you have a call coming in you can actually answer your calls directly from the watch itself because it comes with a microphone on board as well as a speaker you know you can also use it to check your alarms your calendars and obviously to find your devices and one very important point here is that the huawei watch fit 3 is actually compatible with both android as well as ios yep you can use it across any single platform so there you have it guys uh, the Huawei Watch Fit 3 again a very solid smartwatch for the price of like 700 ringgit ish uh, the pricing the actual pricing might actually surprise you so do stay tuned for that but yeah I seriously think this smartwatch is going to kill a lot of other you know smartwatches from other brands that are already in the market because it's just doing a lot of things very well oh yeah before I forgot uh, it also comes with like a ton of watch phases in case you want to know about that which are actually customizable so yeah there's just a lot of good stuff about a Huawei watch fit 3. if you have any further questions feel free to leave a comment down below thank you once again for watching today's video all the way to the end and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one do stay fit see ya